Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A delayed credit is useful when a customer calls and says they are going to return a purchase in the near future. Unlike credit memos, which are immediately posted within the system to change a customer's balance, delayed credits are not posted until applied to an invoice. Delayed credits can later be added to the customer's next invoice to then be applied to a customer's balance. To create a delayed credit, click the Create button and then select Delayed Credit under the Customer's heading to open the Delayed Credit menu. Select the customer's name from the Choose a Customer drop-down. Enter the date the credit is created into the Delayed Credit Date field. In the Line Items area, enter the items the customer wants to return. You can then enter a note about the delayed credit into the Memo field. You can use the Attachments field to attach a file or files up to 25 megabytes in total size. You can use the buttons in the toolbar at the bottom of the page to manage the delayed credit. To cancel the delayed credit, click the Cancel button. If needed, to create a recurring delayed credit, click the Make Recurring button. Note that creating a recurring delayed credit is highly unusual and not often needed by most businesses. Finally, the drop-down Save and New and or Save and Close button lets you save the transaction and then either open a new delayed credit window or close the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.